Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News on iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, when you're with a group of friends and you hear about some fact situation where, you know, some person was out, might have had a lot of guns, right? Might have uh, had some extremist views, some, um, you know, militia type views, perhaps. And you know when you're talking about the FBI cracking down on that group, right? Um, you know, disarming the citizen who was out in the mountains someplace or on a compound someplace uh, who had a lot of firearms and stuff. You know when in that group there's that person who, you know, says things like, whoa, 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 I feel rights were violated, right? You know the idiot who says, whoa, you know what, the government overstepped their bounds in Waco, right? The government had an overreach in Ruby Ridge, right? What's wrong with having a lot of guns? What's wrong with people getting together and deciding to live on a compound? Why should I assume that the government's version of events is really what happened, right? You know the, <laughs> you know the wacko who gets up and actually tries to defend Randy Weaver, who actually feels that whatever the Messiah complex David Koresh had, the government used excessive force. You know that wacko who makes that argument. Well, you're watching a video from that wacko, right? I'm someone who believes that the dream begins with freedom, right? I want to put the cops on a short leash, right? I'm very sympathetic, very sympathetic to people who've been accused of terrible crimes who believe they've done nothing wrong and who want to defend themselves, who want due process in defending themselves against the government, right? I'm big on that. I think sometimes in society we end up with a lynch mob mentality, right? But sometimes there's an explanation for what happened. Worse yet, sometimes we have the wrong guy. I think the great Bob Marley put it the best. If you don't know who he is, I hope you Google it. He had a song, right? I shot the sheriff. But in the song he says, but I didn't shoot the deputy. So right there, the murder charges should be halved. Then he goes further and he talks about how Sheriff John Brown came to gun him down so he shot him uh, down. So yes, he shot the sheriff, but he did so in self-defense. Right? I believe that due process serves a reason. We need to hear that side of the argument. So yes. I am the wacko who is very concerned by the Snowden revelations. I'm very concerned by drones. I feel that people online should have privacy. I don't want someone snooping in my email. Now all of that said, I don't have any sympathy for Adrian Peterson. I don't even know what due process has to do with any decision by his team, the Minnesota Vikings, 
to employ him as a running back. You know, understand, right? The NFL is not the government. They're not, right? The rights you have, right to free speech, etc., the Bill of Rights, right? Those rights are really against the government, right? The NFL, the last time I checked, was a private entity, right? I don't believe voters vote on who the NFL commissioner is, at least not part of the United States electoral system, right? Now, my point to you is this. I don't know about you. But I know that if I had employees named O.J. Simpson and Oscar Pistorius, right, after I heard the facts of their case, right, I would fire them. I don't need to wait around for some court judgment or some jury verdict. For me, it would simply come down to do I want this guy representing my organization? Right? Understand, too, this due process argument in this context is a smokescreen. Right? Due process matters when there's an explanation. There's another side of the story. Right? I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. And the sheriff was trying to kill me. Right? Due process doesn't matter, in my opinion, right? When you're in a private context, not a governmental context, right? When you're in a private context and you admit to hitting your four year old son up to 15 times. Right? Up to 15 times with a switch. And their photos that show that days later, your son still is all welted up. Longtime subscribers here on YouTube to my channel know that I have a cat. I hope no one thinks I'm remotely capable of hitting my cat up to 15 times with a switch. Nor would I ever dream of putting leaves in my cat's mouth, which the New Yorker contends Adrian Peterson did to some of his children. Right? This behavior is ridiculous. Peterson right now is not the kind of guy, in my opinion, many reasonable people would want working for their organization. There is no other side of the story. The kid's four years old. There is no self-defense rationale. The kid wasn't there waving a gun at family members. Right, the kid didn't have a knife and wasn't going after Peterson. Peterson didn't fear for his life. No, Peterson's stated reason for hitting a four-year-old up to 15 times with a switch was that he was disciplining his son. Let's hope Child Protective Services gets involved with the quickness. Let me also say this too, the New Yorker piece on this Adrian Peterson mess also points out that the mother didn't know. It wasn't until later when the mother had left Peterson's Texas home and she was on her way back to Minnesota that she realized her four-year-old was having problems. That's when she looked at the kid's body and saw the injuries that are memorialized in the photos. Let me point out, too, that she took the child to 
a member of the medical community, who concluded that the child had been beaten before. It gets worse. You know, you're unlucky if there's even talk of an investigation one time, if you're a parent, in terms of using excessive force against one of your children. Right? Something would have to happen for that to even be an issue, for people to even consider a criminal investigation against you as a parent. Understand, this is not the first time Adrian Peterson has been accused of excessive force against one of his kids. Right? Adrian Peterson, this isn't a one time event. He told the cops this is part of his system of disciplining his kids. This isn't a one time event. This is an ongoing problem, right? It's ongoing. I would encourage people to Google the photos. They're eye-opening, right? The kid looks welted up. You can only imagine the ferocity of the beating, right? Understand the kid's four. What's the kid going to learn from this beating? Right? What did the people watching this video learn when they were four? Right? You're, you're barely able at that age to remember to eat. Right? You're, you're lucky if you're actually thinking and walking at the same time at that age. Also, what exactly did the kid do to warrant this level of violence in response. So let's just say I applaud Nike and I applaud Radisson. Nike has suspended its relationship with Adrian Peterson. Right? They've heard enough. Right? Radisson told the Vikings when the Vikings were talking about having Peterson back on the roster, hey, remove our logo from your news conferences right because Viking people in talking about this situation had their corporate sponsors name in the background right these corporate sponsors don't need to hear a court of law say Adrian Peterson crossed the line in fact, they don't even have to operate by the legal standard. They can have a higher standard. Right? I was an Adrian Peterson fan. At first, when I heard this story, I thought, how bad could it be? Then I saw the photos. In my opinion, it's so bad that if I were employing Adrian Peterson, even though he's one of the dominant running backs of our time, he'd be cut. He certainly wouldn't put on my team's colors for the rest of the year. Let's view it a different way. If Adrian P Peterson came into your firm looking for a job, and you knew that he beat up one kid, a four-year-old, like this. And was investigated for using excessive force against another of his children. Would you hire him? Let me tell you. If I were an NFL team owner, I wouldn't even look at the tape of him as a running back. He'd be disqualified from the applicant pool. Right? Think about it too. This due process argument is so ridiculous. Think about the Ray Rice situation. Understand the official judicial system. Right? The government gave Ray Rice a slap on the wrist. I believe he got accepted into some anger prevention, domestic violence prevention program. He got a slap on the wrist. 
we all understood in that context that even though the legal system gave him a slap on the wrist, the NFL did not have to. That the NFL standard could be higher. Now, to the viewers, let me ask you. If Ray Rice were applying for a job with your company and you knew that Ray Rice had knocked out his girlfriend, right? Forget the latest tape. Let's just stick with the first tape. The way he treats her body. The elevator door is open. He drags her a little bit. Doesn't even drag her fully out of the elevator. Her feet are just still in the doorway of the elevator. If you had just that tape, and if Ray Rice admitted to you, as he apparently admitted to the NFL, that he knocked her out. In other words, this wasn't a drunk situation where she just fell down of her own accord. Right? She's unconscious because Ray Rice has just knocked her out. Is that a guy you would consider hiring? If that's not a guy you would consider hiring, then how could you have him continue to be a member of your organization? I think the Ravens did the right thing. Let him go. Right? I think the Vikings, off the information they have, there's, there's no due process issue here. You already have Adrian Peterson acknowledging that he beat up his four-year-old in the manner evidenced by the photos. There are no allegations that I'm aware of that the photos have been photoshopped or altered. Those injuries were caused by Adrian Peterson. Right? Understand, the kid, the four-year-old, didn't independently say, hey, I'm going to go press charges and take himself down to a police station. No. The mother saw her son's injuries and knew this was excessive. Peterson did not have the approval or consent of the other parent. Right? Is this the guy you want trying to help your corporation sell sneakers? Is this the guy you want trying to help your corporation sell hotel rooms? Is this the guy you want trying to help your group sell tickets to your football game? In my opinion, the answer is no. I don't want to hear about due process. I don't want Rusty Hardin, one of America's absolute best attorneys, Roger Clemens' former attorney, Adrian Peterson's attorney here. I don't want Rusty Hardin telling me that I can't fire some guy who treats his kids this way. And I'm certainly not going to wait for some criminal court judgment or plea deal before deciding whether this kind of behavior is acceptable for my organization. So the way I see it, if I owned the Minnesota Vikings, Peterson would be out for at least the rest of the year. Let me point out too, that I don't even see the contrition from Adrian Peterson. Right? I'm just hearing, hey, I discipline my kids the way I want, as if his kids are chattel. As if the decision on how much violence he gets to use against his kids is just his decision. As if society doesn't have norms or the right to say, hey, player, hitting your kid up to 15 times? Your four-year-old? Come on, please. Save the due process arguments. And this is coming from a guy who believes Randy Weaver was a victim of the United States government. Right? I think this Adrian Peterson situation is an outrage. 
you know, I think the due process argument in terms of his employment with the NFL, that's a smoke screen. You and I know that if Adrian Peterson wasn't a great back, if he was an 800-yard back, and not a back who once topped 2,000 yards, he'd be out on the street. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.